And so it begins. At the end of May, I announced that I would be deleting my YouTube channel because I figured out a much, much better way of doing things. I figured out how to be much more effective without being under the control of a bunch of morons and cowards. After that announcement, I started seeing comments from people who clearly didn't understand anything I said. So I made another video and responded to the main objections and made sure I was perfectly clear. Then I started seeing more comments from people who clearly didn't understand anything I said. And then I realized that lots of people were just reading the titles of my videos and immediately rushing to the comment section to tell me I'm wrong without bothering to listen to anything I was actually saying. One last try, as simple as I can possibly make it. For years, I've been a YouTuber. For years, I spent pretty much all day, every day, on YouTube. When I wake up, I go to YouTube to see which comments I'm going to answer. Then I start working on what I'm going to say in my next video. Then I record the video, then I edit the video, then I post the video, then I go to sleep, then I wake up and do the same thing the next day. So, as far as what I spend my time working on, YouTube has been at the center of it. Even when I was doing other things, it usually had something to do with YouTube. Now, if just about everything I've been doing is on YouTube, who has control over everything I've been doing? YouTube. They can stop me in my tracks whenever they want. And they have. A lot. And if they ban me for a week, what can I do about it? Absolutely nothing. If that were the only way to do things, I would just put up with it. But it's not the only way to do things. Imagine a different scenario. Imagine a world where at the center of what I do are things that other people don't control. I make something for my community in places where I can't possibly be banned because the places are mine. From there, and don't miss this part, from there my content goes out to other platforms that other people control. If the content is coming from places that I control and going out later to places that other people control, what happens if a channel on one of these other platforms suspends me? Nothing. Don't care. Can't stop me. Can't even slow me down. But David, why not keep your channel as an archive? Already answered that, not answering it again for people who are too lazy to watch my explanation. But David, why are you leaving social media just to work on a website? Never said I was leaving anything but this channel. Never even thought it. I said I was changing my relationship with social media so that I can no longer be stopped. The only valid response to anything I said from someone who actually paid attention to what I said was from people like Thaddeus, reasoned answers, who pointed out that I could do everything I need to do without deleting my channel if I just delete my content and give my channel to someone else. That was correct. So I'm doing that. I'm deleting my videos and giving my channel to Hatoon. After that, I'm no longer a YouTuber. I'll be someone who uses social media platforms to reach as many people as possible without being controlled by those platforms and the idiots who run them. Here's what's weird. This is supposed to be awesome. We're about to beat the system. You beat the system when you figure out how to be more effective without being under their control. That's what we're doing. This is an upgrade. I'm going full Dizzle 2.0 and people are whining, oh, but why can't you just stick with the old way of doing things? Change is so hard. That fear right there is how these companies maintain psychological control over their users. But I'm just not scared of them. And so it begins. I said that at the center of my work would be some things that we control. There will be more, because I'm in an empire kind of mood, but two things are up and running as of today. My new website and my private community. There's no content there yet, because until midnight tonight, I'm still a YouTuber. Starting tomorrow, I live in our own online world. So, website, act17.com. Again, nothing there as of this recording. I'm giving you the site so you know one of the places you can find me. 
One of the most important factors in all of this is communication. How do we stay connected if my content is going to different platforms and multiple channels? If you go towards the bottom of the page, there's a place where you can enter your email address. Enter your email address there if you want to receive email updates. At the top, there's the community tab. This takes you to community.act17.com. This is a private online community. You can try it for free, but if you want to join, there's a small monthly fee. Why is there a monthly fee here? Two reasons. One, it's in the contract I signed. This is military grade encrypted stuff. You couldn't bring this down with a nuclear bomb. Theoretically, we shouldn't need anything like this. My goodness, I do Christian apologetics and polemics. But looking at where things are going, I think it's good to have something completely unbannable at the core of everything else I do. There's a per user fee for the tech company that licenses the technology, and there's a fee for the media company that's going to help run things. Any exclusive content that's hosted in the community, the bandwidth, Converting videos to different formats for different platforms. Monthly fees are going to cover a lot of stuff. Two, there are some things that we want behind a paywall. There are some things that we don't want to be available to the entire world. John McRae, that's what do you meme, and I have been talking for years about making a channel for training Christians who want to make videos. The problem is that if we just start another YouTube channel, We'd be training everyone, including people who hate us. And we don't want to train people who hate us. But now we have a place where we can train content creators without having to worry about keyboard jihadis picking up any tips on how to make better videos. So when I make a video that goes out on various platforms, I'll explain in the creator section of our community something I did in the video that you might want to know if you're making videos too. I would also recommend networking and collaborating with other Christian content creators in the community and bouncing ideas off each other. Hey, what do you think of this thumbnail? How can I make this title better? Things like that. Just so you know, one of my main goals in life is to train other people until I become obsolete. I don't want to be a 70 year old apologist still struggling to be relevant. I want other people to become more effective than me, at which point I will gladly pick up my pom poms and become a cheerleader, cheering you all on from the sidelines. Until then, I'm going to crush it. In fact, I'm about to crush it in ways you never dreamed possible. And as I'm crushing it, I'm going to train you how to crush it. Just one of the fun things we're going to do in the Act 17 community. Apart from that, the community is similar to Facebook. You can make posts, comment, like, dislike. We'll have Zoom meetings. The mobile app isn't ready yet, but that will soon be available. You'll be able to download it from the App Store. And then you can get notifications through the app. Now, if you definitely can't afford any sort of monthly fee, and I grew up poor, so I know how that goes. No shame. Even in my 30s, one year we were so poor we had to send our two oldest kids to spend the school year with my wife's parents. If that's you, let us know because we can let you slide on the monthly fee. So as far as these two pieces of the puzzle, website and private community, that's where I'll be every day starting tomorrow. When I post a video, it will be in my community first before it's anywhere else. Actually, I'll make sure that supporters on Patreon and Subscribestar get it early as well. Then it will go on to the website and then it'll go to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I've hired a team to put my stuff everywhere. But everywhere it goes, it all points back to where it came from so that whenever something gets banned somewhere, everyone still knows where to find it. To be clear, if you just like watching my videos occasionally, you don't need to go to my website or join the Act 17 community. You'll be seeing my videos soon enough. They're about to be in more places than ever before. You can't miss them. But if you're the sort of person who wants everything as soon as possible 
and you'd like to be part of a group that's committed to supporting each other as we work to change the world for the Almighty, I hope I'll be seeing you in the Act 17 community. The links are in the description box. First exclusive video will be up tomorrow.